We just paid $230 for this storage unit behind me because there's all kinds of collectible boxes in there and I think we got a super good deal. Let's start digging. I have a rule when I see storage units. If there's Dragon Ball stuff inside, the price and the location become instantly irrelevant and we get the unit no matter what. See the Goku box right there? Over there, the giant Shenron Funko Pop. So, you know, it didn't matter. I was I had a lot higher bid than what it went off for. Let's just say that. <laughs> Let's start going through some things. Tote number one. Ooh, look at this beautiful hat. You think I can rock this? You, you think could, I would look You can rock bad. any hat. Mm-hmm. You look at the scarecrow. Ooh, I, feel the, <laughs> I feel the lice. No. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Is this all clothes and stuff? Clothes and scarves? I don't want to know what that is. What is it? I, I don't want to know. No. <laughs> leave that right here. Go, kick. Oh, no. Goku. <laughs> Goku's not in there. Okay, now I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. Well, Goku's empty. It's only one box. It's only one. What about this guy? Oh, no. Oh, no. Empty. <laughs> That's probably because maybe they took him out of the box and they're in a tote somewhere. I'm hoping. Yeah, but why would they, like, throw the boxes around? You know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I recognize this logo as the HyperX game set headset. And that's not in there either. Don't tell me this is gonna get better. It's gotta get, oh, it's gotta get better. It's gotta get better. It's freaking sealed. It's sealed with nothing in it. This, what the heck? Okay, this is getting really shitty, really fast. Let me take a wild guess here. Please, no, please, no, please. Oh my gosh. Really? Really? What about the air fryer? Can I at least get that? Can I at least get, oh my goodness. I, this is not good. This is not good at all. Well, what's in this box here? We hope that all this stuff is in there. Uh, it's so, there's a lot of boxes in the back, back sealed boxes. So you know what, like you said, they might have taken them out of the box. and just kept the boxes. That's what I'm hoping for. That's another empty box. Well, if you're um, a cardboard collector, so far this is fire. Even the $5 shelf? <laughs> I can't even have the $5 shelf? Man, all right, well, at least we got wood. Totally, we got wood. You know, I got wood. That, that's that, what, that's we, what we do it for. Can you not say that? I'm not, I'm gonna keep saying that. I saw, I did see Dragon Ball boxes, so you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess it's relevant then. I guess it is. Let's see, let's get all of this over here. I guess I gotta give you a pass for that. Thank you. At least we got wood. You know what? Forget all the collectibles and the big money items. I came for the planks, <laughs> not. Yay! Now you can have a, a friend like, um, what, Jimmy? From Johnny. Johnny. Or Ed, Ed, I knew it was Jay. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh no. What's in there? Yeah, well, it was a Jaws Funko Pop, but it's an empty box. Okay, I don't want to, I should probably stop throwing the boxes just in case we do start finding them. <laughs> I want to put them back in there, you know? Yeah. Well, there's another empty box. I'm so glad this didn't go for the bit I put on the unit. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, empty hollow now there's something in there oh troll the gohan dragon ball mini funko pop well that's in there there has to be dragon ball stuff in here <sighs> this is not looking pretty well in here we got what else is in here toothbrush box yes is it empty yeah i think so but it does feel a little heavy so i wanted to check it's just got what the heck is this in it Whatever that, that is. Carry case? It's, yeah, a carrying case. It's giving it weight. Okay, at least I got this to go with my hat so far. Ooh. And then we got a few little like home decor wall hangers here. They'll look like that. At least it's something. You know what? At this point, at least it's something. I still have faith in those big boxes in the back. Let me just break my heart now. Let's get the Shenron box. Please don't, please. Just... It's empty. You guys, out of this whole facility, person comes in right here i'm like just stop just stop all right let's see we got more clothes and more clothes okay that's not what i want to see is this a box full of, oh there's actually some stuff some in here decor. hey look is that on little mermaid yeah a little mermaid plaque nice we got something that's actually in there what is this this feels like something what is that first halloween oh, decoration halloween this feels like something Oh, it's a box with a box. It's an empty box with another. Uh, uh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there's something in it there. It has something in it. What is that? What is that? This is uh, USB this Slim unit? Portable opti Optical Drive. Oh, okay. Okay, so the first thing so far this unit, it actually has something in it. You know what? We're moving in the right direction. We're moving in the right direction. You're going to grab that toad as a table? 
What tote? That, that one. It's too low. Okay. Maybe in a little bit. Amazon? Amazon? Mm, it's not empty, but it's not nothing full. Oh boy. Christmas decorations. It's just a favorite. tree skirt? It's just a tree skirt and a snowflake. Great. That, that That's not what I wanted <laughs> to be in the Amazon box. I can't lie. Uh, let's go here. This. Empty. This. What's this? Ooh, I see so many more boxes. I don't even want to say collectibles. Sleeping bag. At least there's something there. Lunchbox. That's empty. Amazon Echo. Empty. Surprising, huh? This. Even the air pump. Like, you, you can't tell me at this point. Maybe, hopefully it changes, but you can't tell me right now this was not set up. Who stores stuff like this? I don't believe it one Nobody bit. just stores empty boxes. Yeah, like just tons of that. them. Let's see what's in this bag right here. A lot of randomness. What the heck is this? Is this our Echo? Oh no, that's part no. of a gutter or something. The only way that I would believe that is if they came in but because they knew they couldn't pay it, they took everything out of the boxes and then stacked the, back, back, stacked the boxes back up. Maybe, let's go through this little bag right here because this at least has something in it, like a checkbook. At least we might be able to find, oh, this still should have the person's name, shouldn't it? Should. Ooh, let me see. okay, I wanna keep this aside just to check. Because if this whole unit ends up empty, I'm gonna contact this person. I'm gonna see if they left it like this. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, see if it That'd was- That'd be interesting, That actually. would actually be interesting. Ooh, it this has got something in it. Come on, please be something cool. Makeup, that's not cool. Not cool at all. The bag, what else is down here? Another bag. Hey, there's some money. A calculator. TI what? What do we, what do we got? TI-30XS, this one's not worth a whole lot, but it's something, it's something at this Maybe point. Maybe 20 bucks? About, I'd guess. Um, let's see, well, other than that, it's not looking really good in this bag at all. It's looking like, oh, there is money at the bottom. See, mm -hmm. see, look at that. Look okay. at that poor quarter. It's, that? Like, it's corroded quarter. <laughs> we got almost a dollar here. Is there anything else buried in the bottom here? You might need to dump it out. Should I? Let's dump it out right here just to be sure, you know? Yeah. So I made a mess, yay. Um, well, I'm not seeing nothing else. Maybe we shouldn't have dumped it out. Maybe we should have left <laughs> what was left Well, I wanted there. to make sure. I understand. Can you give us a thumbs up for the effort, please? <laughs> <laughs> At least we try. Give us a pity thumbs up. Feel bad for us right now. And subscribe if you're new because, you know, we buy storage units all the time and sometimes this is the reality of it. Yeah. This is the, the part nobody wants to show. We got some flowers, some more home decor. Nice. What else is in this box? More just home decor. A little bit more. Oh my god, I see something with something inside. This unit at least gave us three tennis balls. Nice. And other than that, there's two more little pieces, like four more little home decor pieces down at the bottom, but no TV, of course. This box, I see what I think is a funk. Oh no, it might be VHS. It's at least heavy. Ah. No, it's the Disney VHS. VHSs. Old ones. The Disney, yeah, the Disney VHSs are at least worth some money to certain people. Are we looking for the land before time? We could. Are they Disney? Uh, I don't think they're Disney, no. Okay, so this looks like pretty exclusively Disney from what I see. But these VHSs here, they're not completely worthless to the right person. That's at least so far the best money maker we found. We got a shirt and we built us a little table here with the tote in the box. So I don't have to break my back no more. That's so smart. That's at least a positive. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in this bag here. Well, that's completely empty. That's like a food. lunchbox book bag. Yeah. Let's get this box right here. So this feels, eh, it doesn't feel too light. What is this box first? Power electric spin scrubber. Well, the head of it's in there. At least that's something. Then we got a blanket. Bath and Body Works? Ooh, hey. We actually got a little bit of Bath and Body Works. Look at that, not a whole lot, but a little bit of spread. You know what, I'll take it at this point. <laughs> Amazon box, that's empty. What else is in here? Little blanket and this. Oh, beats. beats. <sighs> Let me guess. No, what is that, a card though? It's just a little farming card. Oh, uh, this, that's at least got a name on it. We have a name now. We're moving in the right direction. Got the next red back from the floor. Doesn't feel promising. Naruto figure, empty. I think that's probably the I screws. The screws. <laughs> but I'm gonna make sure it's not, you know, some chain money. or money. Nope, just the screws. And the, hey, we got something in there. A diamond sparkle, whatever. 25 bucks at Big Lots. Hey, it's something, you know okay. what? It's actually in there. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. 
No, it's extension cords. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just extension cords. I felt the weight and I was like, maybe we have something in the box. Even the Christmas light box. They don't give us nothing in here. What is this little one that slipped past me? Decorating ties. Are there people that like to collect empty boxes? I don't believe Like they it. don't want to throw it away. I personally believe this is what you call completely and totally staged unless their stuff is in these totes and boxes in the back. Until we get back there, I won't know for sure, but so far, it's seeming completely set up to me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's see if this box is any luckier for us. Come on, come on. Well, at least we got Never Stop Exploring. You know, I like that one, I might keep that one. Yeah, that, that one. This is from us, it's coming back from a month and a half road trip. <laughs> so I support it. Another empty action figure box. That, that might have whatever it's supposed to have in there, but it's not expensive, it's just a little charger. It's got something in there. Can you just cooperate? It's just got just the heads, not the wires. The home decor. And well, we got a router. And other than that, it looks like it's just a bunch of socks and mittens. Let's see what's in this bag. At least it has some weight to it. Please be something cool. I beg of you, I beg of you. Some book bag. Okay, well, what's in here? Ooh, yay, a uh, granola bar. This is an Adidas bag. We're gonna go through these zippers though. Oh, there's stuff in the main compartment already. But it's just makeup, unfortunately. Let's go to the second section. Nothing in there besides this. What is that? I don't know what that is. That. Back compartment, trash. What about this little spot at the top? This is where I used to put my money out when I went to school. Please, empty. Come on. What else is in here? A pair of boots. All right, there's something. Then we got a Willy Mammon. A sauna suit, hey, you know what? That feels like it's in there, that's a good, oh it is, $5, five below, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's empty. And this is just some clothes in this weird looking jar here. Maybe a candle holder, I don't really know. Let's get to the red toe, we got a pillow, oh, actually a Star Wars pillow. Nice. That's something, there. Let's go to the red toe, oh look, another HyperX box that's three of these why do you have three boxes for the same headset that's a little weird let's go in here this is light but not empty something cool please open open oh what the heck there it is well i see clothes i see bags why is there so many holiday bags here at the bottom that's kind of weird what about this what is this Ooh, what is that uh that everyone is your car designer what what in the heck is this? I don't really know. Yeah, no clue. Somebody in the comments, please help me. Anything else down here though? What else is in this bag? Just this? Oh, what is that? A planner? Any cash in here? No, pen, some receipts. I'm not seeing any money though. Any, anything over here? Just a lot of receipts, unfortunately, but interesting. Let's see, let's go down a little more. All these holiday boxes, are they new, I wonder? They are, they're unused. But below it, oh, here's a shift box that's empty. It's all just holiday tags and bags. One of the scariest things to open in storage units are fridges and coolers because you never know how gross people are. There could be a turkey that expired two years ago in there. You ready? Yeah. Oh, it feels light, that's good. No, what the heck is this? Oh, more empty boxes, lovely. In a bag with more empty boxes, like a Bluetooth speaker and all of that. Shocking! I never expected to find empty boxes in there. This, they can't even give me the Christmas tree. Oh, it's an empty box. We always get the I Christmas tree. Christmas We're always tree. like, I don't want this Christmas tree and we oh, can't even get that. that. Another empty Funko box. Oh look, even the mini Funko horror is supposed to have Scream, Chucky, and um, Saw Dude. That's, that's empty as well. That's cool. That would have been cool if it was in there, yeah. We got two bags here. Let's see if bags are any, oh wow, it's open. Well. <laughs> So much for the mystery, huh? Yeah. An empty bag and an empty bag. That Weird. <laughs> okay. I didn't know what that was. That, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta check these front zippers. We gotta make sure. I mean, we got a good feeling here, but you never know for sure. At least the suitcase is sellable for a little something. What about the other bag? There's actually like three here. Please, no, that one's heavy. Okay, this one, please don't be closed. I beg you. Don't be close. Please, please, please. Fingers crossed it on anything? it. No. A scrunchie. A scrunchie, yay. <laughs> All right, where is the zipper? Come on, I beg of you, bag, I beg of you. Oh, Jeez. you disappoint me, you disappoint me. 
These are a bunch of jeans. Really used clothes. We probably could make some money on them, but I like just taking them somewhere, donating them to somebody in need because it's not worth piecing these things out for a couple bucks a piece, so they'll just get donated. We just looked through the checkbook we pulled out. No names on any of the checks. We looked through the pictures. No names on anything. No mail so far. That's usually how I find out who the person is in their background. The fact that there's been no mail in here is just a wee bit suspicious. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to keep going because we're not done until we're done. Let's get some of this decor out the back here. There still could be an explanation for this in the back, like a tote with everything in it or a couple boxes. But if it's not, please, somebody tell me another story that makes sense other than this unit being completely staged because I don't see one. What is this here? The chair? It's a chair. Okay, okay. It's a two-seater. That's kind of nice. Not for my size. It's a half-seater. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to fit half of myself on there, but it's there. Don't fall. It fell. I didn't listen. We got tennis rackets. I'm going to find new. out who stayed this unit. Whack them upside the head with it. There's two of them. Okay. Want to play? Yeah. And then we got look. Oh, and the tennis ball. <gasps> Where'd it, oh, we found tennis balls earlier. <laughs> we, did. we did. Look at all these welcome mats. They're brand new. Three brand new welcome mats. That's just weird. Let's get this stuff out of here. Let's go up here. Wow. More empty boxes. That's something I didn't expect. This is, that's actually a nice picture of the map. At least we got that. Let's set this guy over here. It at least looks semi-cool. And you never guess what I see. <sighs> An empty box with two empty boxes inside of it. And one's not enough. They have to get two to prove it to me. Can I at least have a fan? No, really? Not even the fan? <laughs> I can't even get the fan. What's in there? Just the styrofoam and some stuffing. Oh. It's weird. Well, we got us another tote. We got we a tote. Something other than clothes, please. Something other than clothes. Okay, at least I got my wish. Is this mail? Aha, mail. Is it? Yes. Okay, I'm weirdly excited about mail because now I got this person's name and I am 100% willing to give this whole unit back just to know if they left it like this. Well, I'm saying that now. If, there's, if we go in the back and there's a lot of cool stuff, I might change my tune, but <laughs> right now, what are those? It's football tickets. This is just a bunch of receipts. Hey, look, hey, an Applebee's gift card or a Chili's gift card. Oh, no, it's a ticket again. Oh, it's a ticket. Okay, weird. All right, hold on a second. There is a name with the city and everything right here. This is what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. We're going to solve this because I don't believe they left it like this. Let me put this right here. It's not going back in there. Is this all mail? Let's see. Mail, mail, mail. Cook a million. Nothing. And just decor. Well, a bunch of decor and a bunch of mail. We got two nice stools at least. There's that. This is what? High five folding chair. Okay. Nice. I got a ball. Oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dang it. Let's see. Well, empty box with empty plastic inside. We got a bidet. It's empty. This is I don't know, some type of chain, but guess what? It's empty, so it doesn't matter. This is a blanket right there. Here's another bag, which has got like some plants in it and stuff. Uh, a bunch of plants and in decorative here. Decorative plants? Yeah, decorative plants. And this is just clothes in there. Weird. Let's see. Another shoe case. Okay. Let's see. This has got something interesting in it. Nice color. Yeah, I like it. Let's see. Uh, well, that. What is this? Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I want to know. We're just going to leave it there. And let's go into the main compartment, which is over here. Open up, please. Can you not be empty or closed, please? Oh, it's pretty much empty and closed. It wanted to give me a double middle finger. Can you sit on this? Yeah. Pro I I'm going to say no. Do you hear that rain out there? It's just do. pouring, pouring down rain. I got some good news. I want to move this. And this stack has got weight on to it. Whether it's this box, this stock, or this box, I have no idea yet. We're gonna find, oh, oh. golden freezer. But it's empty. What's this sticker? BTQ gifts? I might have to find this store. BTQ. I'm gonna look that up before I leave here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ugh, big well. Definitely doesn't feel like this thing. It might have something thing. in it though. It might be something. It definitely feels really empty. Styrofoam. That was a computer. Empty. Yep, all empty, so it's not coming from this, that's for sure. Another empty box. Add to our collection. Is it the KitchenAid? KitchenAid does have some weight to it. Let's see. Well, it's not a KitchenAid. 
got Baku some gun. randomness in it. Bakugan little case. Nothing inside, I think. Nope, nothing. Christmas lights. Enclosed in Christmas lights. Oh, all the way through, really? Okay, well, I'm hoping that wasn't all of the weight. Let's just set that right there. Fan, can I at least get a ceiling fan? Oh, that's heavy, that's really heavy. I think we might have a winner. We might, this is Ooh, brand new. Yeah, it's factory steel. Hey. We have a winner. Woo. Does it have a barcode on it? Let's see how much of yes, our money we can get back real quick. Instant. Let's go ahead and scan it into eBay. Please be worth something. Please. No exact match is found. It's never a good sign. Okay. It's never sold on eBay. Sold listings. Oh, three results. It's about pre-owned. 70 bucks, brand new, 100 bucks. So you know what? At least that's about half, almost. This box, nothing in it. Set it over here. This tote, let's see. Oh, that's heavy. Come on, please be cool. I want action figures. What the heck is this? It looks interesting, at least a little bit. Well, empty lunchbox. This bag is an empty, weirdly enough, open somehow. It's open beforehand, you know, I didn't open that. Bathroom bag. What's that? There's a little bit of money in there, I see. Look, very little bit. I see a little bit of jewelry and a little bit of money in there. Some silver, actually. Get out, come out, come out, come out. Look, yay. Some money, we'll set this bag aside because I do want to get the money out of it. Make sure there's nothing else inside. There's that. Then we got jacket, 30 bucks. Uh, what's this? Chilies. Well, this explains all the chili stuff we found earlier. Maybe it was a waitress at the local Chili's. Losing scratch off. Oh, I know your first name taps. This is about to be new right here. Whatever it is, is liquid, so. Oh, it just fell out. Water. There's something else in there, though. I don't know what it is. Let's see, get out. I'm just gonna grab it, that's safe, right? Powerade. Come out, what else is in there? Not much, huh? What about below? Nothing on this side. What about this big blue bag? Anything or this purse? What do we got inside here? There's got to be something. Anything in this little purse first? It's chapstick. More chapstick. Nothing. That's not good. This one? Well, just a lot of crap. What about this side over here? Some Dollar Tree crystals. Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> they just filled everywhere. Some waters. A little purse. Anything inside here? Why are all the bags open? That's what I want to know. And even the freaking pill bottles open. It's kind of seems a little set up to me. I can't lie. What about down here? There's something big down here. I don't know what this is, but it's something. This is this is a car radio. That's a car radio. Probably freshly taken. I don't know. But other than that, all I see down there is a bunch of waters. Which side of the unit do I continue with? Right or left? Right or left? Right or left? Right or left? That way. This way. Okay. Well, let's go into here. It says, I don't like what it says on the side. It says sheets. Oh, okay. Well, that's definitely not sheets. Oh, I was hoping it was Tiffany. But some crafting supplies. All right. That's better. Is that another empty box? No, it's not. There's something in there. Look. Some paintbrushes and a little bag for them. Uh, let's see. This is all empty, empty. What about this bath and body works? Oh, that's kind of full, ain't it? Look. I don't think it's their stuff though, is it? Uh, I honestly don't know. Somebody knows. Let me know if that looks like Bath and Body Works stuff because I don't shop there. Sometimes I shop at dumpsters. Empty. This. Empty. Another Amazon Echo. Empty. And one last box. It's empty. We got a kind of big like aquamarine color suitcase here. Let's see what's inside. Nothing. What about this zipper? Nothing. The inside's definitely not empty. I can tell you about the weight. But was it closed or not? I don't know. Let's find out. Yep, it looks like closed again. Anything else in there? This? No. Nothing else in there. What is that? That is Transportation Security Administration. That's kind of weird to find in there. But just more clothes that we'll donate. This is actually required by law, at least it seems like, to be in every single storage unit ever. We got an air mattress and but the pump fell. It is in there. It is in there. That's a good sign. Let's go to. Oh, wow. This one's really heavy. Oh. oh. Whoa. Well, I haven't found any of this yet. I wonder if that has anything to do with what's in there. It looks a little more personal. Personal pictures, banana, 
that. Uh, let's see. Infinity. Nothing. Books. Pictures. What about this? Empty. Stamps. Another sauna suit. What's in this little fairy magic box? Pictures. 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 Well, we'll be able to look up the name and compare social media profiles to the pictures we found. See if we can find the real owner. So that's a good thing. There's a lot more just paper. Paper. Banking made easier. Paper. Is it really all? Oh, don't show that. Then there's... Well, yeah, it's unfortunately paper all the way to the bottom. Underneath all the paperwork, we found this totally legitimate Apple computer. It's totally not an HP with a sticker over the logo. It's totally, totally not. But you know what? It doesn't look cracked. It is an HP. Let's see if there's any models on the bottom here. Windows 8. That's never a good sign. Well, we can update that right there. There's a model number. Where is it at? I'm sure it's in here somewhere. No, it just wants to make you think it is. It's not really. Oh, it, right here. 15... Dash what? Uh, F009WM, I think. Okay, so hopefully that's worth something. I mean, this is our top find so far. A hair dryer box with nothing in it. Shocking. This is some sheets. Let's see, well, we got a little aquarium here. As long as it is empty, I'm okay. I don't like seeing them because, well, we found one with a turtle one time and he wasn't doing so good. <laughs> yeah, I don't see nothing in there. What is that? Some type of weird leaf. I Indian don't know. almond leaves. Okay. Is that another empty Funko? Yes, it is. More home decor. And even, at least they left you your favorite. Yay! A bag of hangers. Let's see what's in this tote. Anything? More pictures. pictures. Anything else below them? Nope. All pictures in there. We got more wood. Yay! Let's go with my planks. This blank. Well, another empty box. This is... What is that? A griddle? Oh, that scared me. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was a bug. Is it a griddle? It might be. Over here, Christmas, Christmas. What is this? Honey Wilton. Empty box. This, nothing. And well, just more decorative plants. You want a shark little coin purse? Yeah. That's already empty and open, surprisingly. <laughs> that, that's sarcasm. There's a shark birthday. What do we get for my birthday? Hey, some actual stuff. Look, R2-D2, we got that stay up. Mickey Mouse, <laughs> does he have a date on him? Showcase collection, doesn't have a date though, it says showcase collection. What else is down here? A little cross, this guy, what show, what is he from? I don't Mona? know. Uh, he's Disney. Yeah, definitely Disney. Uh, I'm Donuts, how about you? And then there's like two little fish thing in there. Put that over here. Actually, let's put these back in the box. You're not gonna believe this. Can you believe the shelving box is empty? Mind blowing, right? I'm really curious to see what's in here. This just says Nat. It's Nat stuff on it. Who's Nat? We don't know. We're about to find out. Well, some pumpkins with a blanket. Uh, yeah. All Halloween. Hey, look. At least there's part of a candle. Does it say thankful and blessed? You know what? I'll take that. That's a good reminder, even though this unit's sucking, that, you know, life's still good. Back corner of the unit, in the cooler. That feels empty. Yep, cooler's empty. But this tote's not. Let's see what's in the pink tote. Yeah. I think all the figures for everything is Boxing in here. Glow. A pair of boxes, though. That's cool. At least they're kind of expensive. Well, let's see. Seeing a lot more Christmas, holiday, decor down there. What about this side? No, absolutely nothing but pictures and decor. This tote, what does that say? Crap. Craps. Is it true? No. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, this is full. Cool. What's in here? Paint. Well. Crap. Yeah, I thought they were wrong when I saw the Think Geek box, but they just used the box for storage for actual crafting. And there's a bunch of jars in there, so let's set that over here. Then, let's see what this bag here is. Feels like nothing, but there's a little bit of stuff in there. Uh, some holiday bags and, well, yeah, there's a lot of randomness. Oh, bag here. Anything inside? Nope, already conveniently opened and emptied. Cool, really cool. This, uh, uh, empty. Router box. This, empty, empty. This tote right here, ugh. This is, mm. Close all the way down. Not good. This box or tote, please, something cool. What does this one say? 
blanket. Of course that one's right. Of course that one's right. It's blankets all the way down. But again, this will just be another donation. So we have the whole unit loaded in the back. Like I said early on, I 100% believe this unit is staged. And I'm 100% willing to take a $250 loss and give this back to the owner. So what I'm suggesting is, when you go in to get the deposit back, just ask them really nicely, are you sure nobody went through that unit? And then once they tell you their lie, no, we have no idea. Just let them know, you know, we found the lady's name and pictures. We're just going to go ahead and contact her and give her the whole unit back since, you know, that's how she left it and everything. And we'll see how their reaction is. You guys in the comments, be the judge. Good. Um, so I am just coming to get my deposit. I finished cleaning out She's the, the unit. Um, auction. Oh. She's already paid the, in her... All she does is sign the deposits in there. Very good. You got everything in. Yes, ma'am. I did. But watch. I know it's raining. I didn't know if you wanted to go check, but <laughs> I did. So you said you didn't, you didn't know anything about unit. this owner, did you? She's got her hand truck no. passage. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's, no, there's more than we even know about. And nobody's been in that unit, right? No. Okay. No. It was just a weird one. Like everything was empty. Like all the boxes were. So that's why I was Everything was, I, was empty? Well, not everything, but the, it was, the good I majority. It was weird because we couldn't get a... I was like, Patsy, I can't get a picture of anything that doesn't look like a box. Yeah. And again, we're not allowed to go in and touch anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just yeah. have to raise the door and take a picture from the outside of the door. Yeah, so, yeah. So we couldn't tell, you know. Yeah. How well, did you decide that you're picking okay. this up? Okay. I'm probably just going to... I found, like, the owner's name and stuff. They have some pictures in there. I'll probably just contact her and try to give her back. That's nice of you. So, what, what, was there anything the box? Um, I mean, there was like a new ceiling fan in there, but outside of that, I mean, some clothes. God, but I mean, cool. even all the like uh, the little electronic boxes, they were all empty. Why the hell are the boxes? Did you but think? Do you think that um, someone you said pictures were they your pictures? What do you mean? No, this is the auction. Oh no, yeah, the auction. Oh, 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 gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Oh, yeah. Well, but you that. never know what you're getting with those. That's right. I yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah. All right, so I'm all set. All right, thank you. You too. That storage unit was obviously staged. And you know what? This is when things get really interesting. So make sure you listen to this part. I did some digging because that's the kind of person I am. I like to figure things out. Using a little bit of internet magic, we'll call it. We looked up the owner. So we went through the mail. First off, before I even get into that, we went through the mail. I found 11 different addresses on the top. All different people, all different last names. Red flag, number one. But at the bottom, there was a ton of mail belonging to one particular person. I looked that name up and I looked up their social media pages. Boom, the pictures on there matched the pictures that we found in the unit. I knew that was their stuff. Then I made a burner Facebook account so nobody would be able to see who I was. No one would be able to look up what we do or anything like that. Basically, there would be no incentive for the other person to lie to me. I wanted to make a completely fake account so they couldn't look anything up. And I reached out to the original owner of the unit. First, I said, you know, this is going to sound weird. Imagine being the other person getting a question like this. But did you have a storage unit at blank? I'm not going to say it right now for legal reasons because I don't have hard evidence yet. Just wait. Their immediate response. Am I an employee? No, 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 no. I promise, I promise I don't work for them. I actually dislike them strongly. So I said, no, I'm just trying to figure something out. And then they immediately responded saying, we used to. Okay, so that immediately first, I think, maybe it just got sold and this is gonna be really awkward. Maybe this makes sense. We're gonna find out. I then told her that we found a bunch of pictures in a storage unit. That's what we do for a living, basically. We buy storage units and we found a bunch of her pictures and mail and stuff inside the unit we just bought, so we made the assumption that it was her storage unit. Then we get the massive red flag. She comes back with, her storage unit was lost to auction six months ago. I bought this storage unit four days ago. Okay, so that's when I was like, okay, this is this is getting really weird. Think about it logically like this. She has nothing to gain by lying to me, so why would she? The facility has tons of money to gain by faking units. So if you're looking at it like that, one person has a lot to gain, one person has nothing to gain, that's who I choose who to believe in this situation. So I asked just to reconfirm that it was sold six months ago and she says yes. So I'm like, okay, this makes no sense already. So I come up with this idea. Maybe somebody bought it and left it behind or something like that, didn't clean it out, lost their deposit. So I asked her what size was the storage unit and she comes back with 10 by 15. There's red flag number two. The storage unit we just cleaned out and found all her mail and pictures in was a five by seven. Two totally different storage units. So if that 
that's not a red flag, I don't know what a red flag is. Then I asked kind of a weird question, but I want to make sure I cross off all other possibilities. If there was anybody else that would have a bunch of her mail or her pictures in a storage unit in that area, and I get the no, she lives alone with just her child. So if that's not evidence enough, I don't know what is. And then we get into the collectibles. If you remember when we bought the unit, all the collectible boxes are completely empty, but they are all nicely stacked with the opening facing the other direction. So there would be absolutely no way to tell if they were in there when you buy the unit. Do you know anyone that would store their stuff like that? Would you store your stuff like that? Nobody would, unless you're a facility trying to stage storage units and you want people to buy it based on the boxes, which we did. And I get the response back, no, never, never owned it. We had a little more back and forth and whatnot. I eventually asked basically, is there anything in the unit? I showed them the pictures and clips, asked if there's anything in the unit they wanted back. All she wanted back was some school stuff and some pictures, everything else said half of it that wasn't even hers. So really, really. Now, of course, now that that's all done, we're stuck in a situation that we have no hard, hard evidence that either the facility's lying or the lady's lying. Somebody's lying. But again, I say she has nothing to gain. They have everything to gain. Who do you believe in this situation? I would 100% side with the owner and I'm 100% never buying a storage unit from that facility ever again.